What is up you guys, it's Violet Teller here and welcome back to Let's Catch A Vibe. Now, I hope everyone's feeling great, feeling amazing, feeling vibey. As you guys can see, we are back doing the Odd Team Shop Switchover. This is going to be Friday night, taking us into early Saturday morning. Now, I do want to specify that you guys won't get an item shop tomorrow night. I'm going to be in Leicester, going to visit a friend. But uh, yeah, you will get one Sunday afternoon and Sunday night. But, let's see what we're going to get tonight in 3, 2, 1. Let's go! I realized that was quite early, so bear with me. Jeez! Okay, we got a brand new Icon Series emote. It's a vibe. You already know. We know about the vibes. Jeez! Let's see what it is. Then we dance. Jeez! First introduced in Chapter 3, Season 2. Dun 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 dun. I love dance. Jeez! Pretty damn cool. As we have the return of the Jump Shot skin. So, jumping straight into some of the basketball skins. We have the Jump Shot. Vertical Victory. Part of the Half Court set. First introduced in the OG Season 4. Looking pretty damn cool, I have to say so myself. Is he better than the Jordan skins? I don't know. He's super, super OG though. Anyway, moving us on to the female skin. We have the Triple Threat. It's all about the fundamentals. Fundamentals. Part of the half court set. Looking absolutely epic. Loving the backwards uh, llama baseball cap there. Or llama snapback, eh? Llama snapback. Jeez. Moving us away from this, we have the return of the slam dunk harvesting tool. It's a slam dunk. Part of the half court set. Pretty damn cool. I mean, if you always wanted to hit somebody with a basketball hoop, now's your time. Now's your time. Anyway, moving us on to the hang time glider. Get air. Jeez. Bum 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 Jeez. Get air. Last but not least in the featured store or the first page of the featured store, we have the ballsy emote. Keep your eye on the ball. First introduced in chapter two, season one. Jeez. Wait for it. Wait for it. Jeez. Let me know in the comments down below if you know how many balls were there then. Was it three? Was it four? Was it two? Definitely wasn't one, so I'll, I'll eliminate that answer for you. Anyway, moving us on to the second half of the featured store. And we've got some pretty damn cool skins returning. Starting us off, we have the return of the crystal skin. Clarity, wits, and vision. First introduced in the OG Season X, looking pretty damn badass, I have to say. Really, really love it. Love the belt. I'm a big fan of pouches, if you guys didn't know. Anyway, moving away from this. Also, got a comment on the glasses. Love the glasses. Moving away from that, we have the return on the Bronto skin, or as I like to call him, Barney. Eating plants and taking names. Part of the Dino Guard set, first introduced in the OG Season X. Pretty damn cool. I like this skin. I'm definitely going to grab this skin eventually. I say that like I didn't have it on my old account, but, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, moving us on to the return of the Bronto Bang. One for the ages. Pretty much the same as the Rex skin yesterday. Um, you can pretty much tilt it and have it look like the head and the back bling are one in sync. But yeah, pretty damn cool. Moving us on to the return of the Peridactyl Glider. Soar into battle. Part of the Dino Guard set. First introduced in the OG Season 4. Pretty damn cool. About the only like thing about this glider is that if you redeploy, they probably will hear you, so just be careful. But anyway, moving away from this, we have the last but not least item. We have the Bite Mark Harvesting Tour. Take a bite out of the competition. Part of the Dino Guard set, first introduced in OG Season 3. Every time I see this, it just calls me back to those those toys we used to have when we were younger. They were literally the same as this. You press the button at the bottom and like the jaw snaps on it. I miss those toys. I think I actually had an official T-Rex one that was from Jurassic Park. That would probably worth some money if I still had it. I'll have to have a dupe dive. Anyway, moving away from this, we have the return of the last item in the featured store, and that is the Surf Witch. So, starting us off, we have the Surf Witch. Curse the beach with your dark presence. Part of the Demon Beach set, first introduced in Chapter 2, Season 3. Cheese. Two styles. We have the default, which is absolutely amazing. And then we have what tops it up to an 11 out of 10. We have the Demon version. Pretty damn cool. You can see various things change. Obviously, the base color goes from pink to red. Also gives us some T-shade. Tea, tea, also gives us some T-shade. Um, 
glasses as well obviously the horns but yeah pretty damn cool definitely recommend grabbing this skin guys because i have to say we like those baby because she got those cheeks and just overall she looks absolutely fire anyway moving us on to the bat bling we have the star power you've got the makings of a real star first introduced the same time as the skin now the bat blink is reactive it animates with eliminations so pretty much if you want some neon in your life if you're getting kills you'll be doing nice you will be doing nice definitely recommend grabbing this because it does suit a lot of like the music related bat blink like skins as well getting a neon sign so uh, i would definitely recommend it anyway moving us on to the last item we have the starstruck axe Similar to the bat bling, but in harms the tool form. Show off your star power. This is also reactive and animates with eliminations as well. So, you know, we got some we got some beach essence going on. Love the fact that the bottom kind of looks like a guitar as well. Or is that me? Yeah, those look like guitar picks, don't they? I'm sure it does. Anyway, moving away from this, we have the daily store. And we've got a pretty damn cool daily store. So, starting us off, again, we have the return of the diamond pony. I'm not going to showcase this because we've already seen it several times. Uh, moving us on to the recon specialist, however. Rare recon specialist outfit. First introduced in the OG season one. Jeez. Ramirez looking absolutely badass there in the camo. Moving us on to another skin, we have the return of the survival specialist. Or as I like to call this one, the, uh, the predator. <laughs> the predator. The punisher skin. Rare Survival Specialist Outfit. First introduced in OG Season 1. Looking pretty damn cool. I just call her the Punisher because she's got the skull on there and it's all black. But yeah, pretty new, pretty cool skin. If you don't want to spend too much money on a skin, but you want it to look somewhat uh, deep voltage because a lot of people do. Anyway, moving us on to the return of the emote section of the daily store. And we've got two Icon Series emotes. But starting us off, we have the return of the Lavish first. Join the celebration. First introduced in the OG Season 8. Jeez! Kind of remind. I think that... Is that a Bollywood move? I'm sure it sounds like a Bollywood move. Not being, you know, like, cultural appropriate, but it sounds like a Bollywood move. Anyway, moving us into the turn of the Icon Series emote, the Say So. Roll with the change. First introduced in Chapter 2 Season 4 during the Marvel season. Moving us on to the return of the Frolic, which is a pretty recent Icon Series emote coming out in what? December, I think. Nothing gets you down. First introduced in Chapter 3, Season 1. Apparently I was wrong and I don't know what I'm talking about. Re released in December. You know why? Because it, it kind of looks like a, um, a reindeer emote, especially with the carrots. That's why it seems like a, a Christmas emote. But anyway, first introduced last season. Last but not least, we have one of my favourites, the Electro Shuffle. Express yourself on the battlefield. Jeez! I love that little pirouette they do there. Anyway, first introduced in the OG season one. I didn't actually realise this, this um, emote was that old. Moving us on to what you see at the bottom now. We have the return of the goal bound skin bundles. We have the star playmakers. And we have the champions of the pitch. Pretty much these have returned because if you guys don't know. Um, football's been heating up recently. And why wouldn't you want football skins in Fortnite? But anyway... Pretty damn cool. Been through these. Don't really want to go in depth with them, but I will show you one. We've got the finesse finisher. Represent your country in style. So, pretty self-explanatory. You can pretty much have um, different numbers. So, press 1 to go up 1, and then press on the side to go up by 10. You can also have, like, Fortnite, Brazil, Belgium, France, England, South Korea. Is that Korea? No, yeah, it is South Korea. Mexico. Oh, I actually like the Mexican kit. That looks cool. I like the Mexican kit. But yeah, pretty much the same for all the skins. So I don't even have to go in depth with all of them. We do have the bottom half now with the gold bound emotes and um, harvesting tools. So pretty damn cool items in here. Again, not going to go really in depth because these have been out for a long time. And they're pretty self-explanatory. Anyway, moving us on to the brand new bundle we had in return or introduction last night. All of the Tales from the Animus bundle. Really, really happy that this bundle skin is finally in Fortnite. I knew it was going to happen. The only thing I need to see now, because we had the pizza, um, we had the pizza um, shield. Um, what, what am I thinking of? What's the word I'm thinking of? There you go. Yeah, we had the um, the edible pizza that was in game. So I was thinking, oh, this would be the perfect time for us to have Ninja Turtles. Um, 
bundle in the game i'm still i'm still waiting a small glimmer of hope because if they are talking about releasing an, another ninja turtles movie so if they do fortnite i hope we get a ninja turtles movie i just want to play as michelangelo that's all i want and Raphael. but anyway moving us away from that we have the special offers and bundles but guys that was friday night item shop taking us into saturday morning hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to smash the like button if you didn't enjoy the video let me know in the comments down below why you didn't like the video also let me know what was your favorite item from the item shop tonight if you're new please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new and join team let's catch a vibe also if you are new please don't forget to switch on the bell notifications to get notifications that load but more importantly don't forget to stay vibey and i'll catch you on the island peace